All right, it's time to get your dancing shoes on as Kim Johnson joins us on the couch ahead of Dancing with the Lexington Stars. It's back for another year. Yes. Give the people out there an idea of what this event is about in case they've never heard of it, which, you know, would be shocking, but there are probably some people yeah. out there. Uh, thanks. Um, we, the dance is our, the Rotary Club of Lexington's largest fundraiser to help us give money back and put dollars back into the community for nonprofits. Uh, we do scholarships. We have a variety of projects. And one of our primary or featured beneficiaries is surgery on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it's a fun evening unusual for a fundraiser because you have a dance show, a competition between local business leaders, and it's fun. So how does the judging process and the competition actually work? We have a uh, our previous year's winners, mm -hmm. and so last year we had three um, people that will be joining us. The People's Choice, the Judge's Choice, and we had an all-round winner. And then we also have a local, uh, well not local actually, international ever that's a ballroom uh, dancer, professional. Mm. For years, we've had Anna Trubinskaya join us. This year, let's hope I don't slaughter her name, Edja Slowinska nice. is joining us. And she was on the uh, the show, the Dancing with the Stars mm -hmm. TV show for the first 10 years, I believe. How much can these international superstars, when it comes to dance, <laughs> help people who may not be the greatest dancers. Well, what we find is the pros at Arthur Murray do such a great job with our um, dancers that are participating in the event that it is a wonderful show. So we're very fortunate that when they're judging, they try to be, <laughs> they know they're volunteers, <laughs> right? You know, they're not <laughs> professionals, but it, it is such a great evening and, and for such a good cause, allowing the Rotary Club to do some of the good work we do in the community, so it's fun. The 12th year of one of the Rotary Club's largest events, uh, raising money for so many local organizations. What do you think is the secret to the success that keeps getting people wanting to come back and watch the dances every year? Because the show is unique. Mm -hmm. You know, we have live auction, silent auction, the usual little bit of conversation about what we're trying to accomplish, but the dancers do such a great job at getting the word out to their networks of individuals. And so we have a lot of new people joining us each year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, I think, because the Rotary Club here in Lexington has been around since 1915. So, mm -hmm. you know, people are getting a little bit more aware of the good that we're doing and trying to support it. And earlier you mentioned surgery on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tell the folks about that. Surgery on Sunday uh, was started by Dr. Andrew Moore uh, to help those individuals that kind of fall between the cracks. They don't maybe qualify for state and federal assistance. They may be underinsured. And it what they do is one surgery um, day a month on Sundays. They provide outpatient care for those that maybe if they have a hernia that they've been able to live with they can repair that and have them improve their lives. So it's a great cause. They really make a difference in the community and we're very fortunate to have them join us in um, making this a great event. All right, Kim, well, thank you so much for joining us. If you wanna dress up and, you know, uh, give back to a good cause, several good causes, you saw the information on your screen. Tickets still available. Dancing with the Lexington Stars, May 11th. Thanks. We're back after this. You're watching Fox 56 News, our home, your news.